Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is October 21, 2021. We will do a quick market prep and take it from there. We will spot top trends with the ETF, look at some beaten down stocks and look at some trends to benefit from and look at top stocks to sell put options, look at selected sectors and see what's moving and look at the best way to grow your portfolio with the rule of 40, positive net margin and low debt. So with that, let's jump in and get started. So from a quick market update from a yesterday's action perspective, we had a nice move in the S&P in Dow Jones Industrial Average. As you can see, it went up yesterday by 152 points. NASDAQ is lower. The tech heavy NASDAQ is uh, taking some pressure here. Uh, as you can see, it uh, went lower, but there is a small uptick as the market closed. And we got your S&P 500, which closed higher. It also had a last minute, a uh, little bit uptick here. And from a futures perspective, um, Dow Jones Industrial Average future is pointing to a downward direction here, down 108 points. S&P 500 futures also pointing to downward. Uh, NASDAQ futures also down. Oil is down a little bit. Oil has been very strong of late and 10-year treasury which is really interest rate is sticking higher and this is what is causing pressure on the broader stock market and with that uh, uh, let's uh, look into a little more detail and some big market news and from a big market news perspective uh, china um, evergrande uh, shares drop i think they had some issue with the asset sales here this is one of those uh, biggest uh, real estate builder in china got to watch this carefully and bank of america says fed is playing with fire a down downplaying the inflation we got to be careful here inflation is high everybody is paying high for a job labor costs are high supply chain shortage semiconductor shortage you got to be careful here and fda clears moderna and j and j vaccine boosters and allows mix and match shots this is a great news for uh, consumers like us because now uh, there is a approval here fda clears and most people can now you know take some of these uh, boosters safely and uh, travel freely that will uh, have some positive impact on the markets and we got tesla here everybody th thought tesla is a one trick pony but uh, they are doing very nicely they are really growing their profit and if you look through the bigger picture here, oil prices goes going higher, energy going higher can be good news for Tesla because more and more people want to buy electric vehicle. They don't want to pay too much money for the gas. And also Tesla is making their cars affordable. So that's why Tesla has got some leg here. This can go even higher. <clears throat> and then we got here SAP, enterprise software company here. Cloud revenue jumps 20%. And European giant wraps, ramps up uh, rivalry with Salesforce. I love SAP here. I would recommend buying SAP on the down days. This trades widely around the quarter, um, earning quarterly earnings. Right now it's up, but we got to uh, buy when it's down. It's a very good uh, stock to buy when it's down after bad news. I also like uh, Salesforce.com with the Mark Benioff. He's also a great guy. It's also good to buy on down days. And then we got here PayPal. PayPal is in late stage talks to acquire Pinterest. You got to watch this going. I think PayPal has got impressive set of uh, portfolio here. They got Honey. They got, uh, they, now they are trying to acquire Pinterest. I think this can be a good company, great leadership. Good to buy PayPal on any down days. And then you got IBM. IBM shares drop on weaker than expected revenue. IBM is a good one to buy on these type of drops here because this company is not a you know great uh, uh, growth type stock, but at, at least when it drops like this, it always gives you a nice bounce opportunity. I've been uh, trading this for a while on these type of drops. Always comes back nicely. And then we got Biogen here. Biogen is uh, up with strong earnings. Um, they got new Alzheimer drugs. They had a nice $300 per, uh, uh, million dollar sales, $300,000 sales, as you can see here. Biogen is a very tough nut to crack. I think this company is really trying to solve um, Alzheimer, which is a great thing. And we got Abbott Labs. This was stuck in mud for a long time. 
Now the stock surges after big profit. I think it's a good one to buy on down days. And we got Netflix. Every time Net Netflix stocks go down, people write it off. But I think it's a great stock. We should uh, buy. Look to buy this on this um, little bit pullback here, and take it from there. So with that, what we'll do now is we'll look at the uh, futures market, go to Thinkorswim platform and see what's trending. So with that, let's jump in here. Uh, before we go there, um, yeah, let's let's go into Thinkorswim platform, look at the futures market here. As you can look through here in the futures market, um, let's quickly make it big. As you can see, your futures are pointing to a down opening today. Not too much down, it's a 12 point down here. This can turn around, we'll watch and see how it goes. And then we got here NASDAQ futures here. NASDAQ futures also pointing to a little bit lower lower opening here. As you can see here, this is the second down day um, You know, for NASDAQ. We'll watch this carefully. And Dow Jones Industrial Average, as you can see here, it's also pointing to a lower opening here. After a nice uh, rally here, we'll watch this carefully also. And as you can see, a Russell 2000 uh, also lower opening here. I think Russell 2000 can point um, how broader market acts. I think probably we'll have a down day here. We'll see how it goes. So with that, let's jump into futures market here and look at bonds. From a bond perspective, as you can look through here, bonds are pointing to a little bit higher opening as you can see here. Um, I think we'll uh, watch this carefully. And as you look at the interest rates here, this is uh, interest rates are pointing to higher opening as you can see here. I think this will cause some pressure on the stock market. We'll uh, watch that also carefully. And as you look through here, we got uh, crude oil. Crude oil is a rocket ship here. It's uh, again a little bit lower opening today. This can change the course anytime. I would recommend not buying crude at the top here. This has a tendency to suck people in and burn them. So got to be careful with the crude oil. And then we got here um, gold. Gold is having a nice rally, three day rally here. I would uh, buy gold on the down days and pick up some good gold names. So with that, we'll now jump into um, spreadsheet and look at the broader ETF market and see what's going on. And if you can spot some trends here. So with that, let's jump in here and go into um, ETF list here. And what we'll do first is we'll look at uh, you know broader averages here. As you can see, we got top here, S&P 500. S&P 500 is doing great. One day, five day, 10 day, all up, up and up. And they're doing nicely for one year, 34% here. As you scan through here, they're just 0.4% off of 52 week high. So we got to be watching carefully. I would recommend not buying at the top. If you want to buy, you know, look at some quality names and buy those stocks instead of uh, buying S&P 500 at the top here. As you scan through here, uh, NASDAQ had a little bit down day yesterday, but generally trending higher. You got to be uh, buying some of these names carefully. Uh, don't buy you know, QQQ at the top, but uh, you know, look at some good names to buy. We'll look through some of those names here. And as you scan through here, um, all the averages are doing nicely, as you can see here. And we got financials on the fire uh, after bank earnings are great. Um, you know, with Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Bank of America, all doing great financials in the, on the fire. And any increase in the interest rate can help financials. That's why financials is uh, doing great here. I think uh, you got to be careful and selectively buy some names um, instead of buying the broader basket at these levels here. And then as you scan through here, we got technology a little bit weaker as you can see here. Consumer discretionary a little bit weak. Think about Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's. And we got EEM, emerging market also a little bit lower. And as you scan through here on a monthly basis, everything is doing great with the oil leading the charge here. And um, you know, again, oil leading the charge and a little bit weak on XRT, which is retail. We should uh, look at some good retail names because retail is all over the map and there are some great buying opportunity here. And we've got XLC. XLC is also a little bit down here. Uh, we could look at some XLC names and take it from there. So with that, let's jump in here, look at some major trends and see what we can make out. So with for that, I'll jump into this filter here 
and look at uh, the trend and go from there. From a trend perspective, as we go here, let's look at our trend. We'll uh, look at few trends here and go from there. All right. So from a trend perspective, let's also sort this. So we have nice up volume on the top. Yeah, I think it's already sorted by volume. So as you look through here, we got uh, Brazil at the top here. Let's quickly look at this. Um, all right, let's quickly look at the sort here. We'll sort by volume. There you go. Let's go by largest. All right, so as we look through here, <clears throat> from a, a trend perspective, 3D printing is doing nicely, up 43% uh, for the year. There is some weakness here in one day and also monthly. We could uh, look at some selective 3D printing names, take advantage of uh, this weakness here. And as you look, scan through here, we got a little bit weakness in the artificial intelligence and the big data area here. It's a little bit weakness here, but still doing nicely for one year. And we also have weakness as you scan through here in the biotech area, both one day and five day weakness and also monthly weakness. It's good to buy some good biotech names into this weakness. <clears throat> then as you look through here, we got a few more here. Um, we got EWZ, which is uh, Brazil. Brazil is down. I think it's uh, good to buy some Brazilian stocks like uh, PAGS, uh, Stone Co. And some of those names, I think it's uh, down as you can see here, trying to turn around as you speak. And I've got uh, our um, cannabis cohort here. Cannabis after dropping a lot here, trying to some improvement here. It's uh, good to look at some cannabis names. Uh, look at stocks like Grow Generation, Canopy Growth, Tilray, and some of those names. Some of them have gone up so nicely. We should uh, look at selectively here. As you scan through here, we got um, Chile. Chile is, uh, as you can see, a down big, trying to turn around. We could uh, look at some Chile stocks also. China is also on, is on fire, as you can see here. We got to look at some selective Chinese stocks here because it's already on fire. Uh, we could uh, pick up some good names and go from there. As you scan through here, we got solar. Solar up nicely. Clean energy also up nicely. We don't want to you know, chase at the top here. So that's the you know, quick trend for you. And now what we'll do is we'll quickly go into the uh, general, the stock market and look at the update here and go from there. From a stock market perspective, let's go into the stock uh, chart here. So as you look through here, here we got uh, the stocks that have dropped a lot in the last five days. As you see here, we got at the top here, GTRX, uh, Galera. So as you look through here, stock has dropped a lot in five day, uh, 10 day, and even on a one year basis. So stocks like this, it's a $2 stock, very low market cap, just 55 million. So you can be a contrarian and buy some into this drop, but there's no fundamentals right now. As you can see here, we got uh, you know very low sales change here and very low uh, quarter over quarter sales change. So you got to be a little bit uh, contrarian to buy a stock like GTRX here. I will also unhide a um, number here. So as you scan through here, we got uh, no sales in this company. So that's why we got to be a little careful here uh, to buy the stock at the top here. Then as you scan through here, uh, let's look at a few more here. We got uh, AVIR, $13 stock as you can see here done big uh, in the last five days. This also, we got to be careful. You have to be contrary and to buy this stock here. Sometimes I buy some of these stocks. At least this one has got some sales here and it's also net margin. You could take advantage, buy some as a contrary and go from there. And there are some good names here like Revance here. I think this is, has nice sales growth here, nice gross margin. There is also sales, which is $45 million. Uh, there is a little bit high debt to equity ratio. This is a little bit better name because it's got some sales and sales growth. You could look at this one also. 
Um, then we got a few more here, as you can see here, uh, NTRB, VSTI, uh, Tiger. Tiger is, as you can see here, trying to make a still down here. We could uh, pick up some here and slowly buy as it goes down. So now what we'll do is we'll look at a little bit stronger candidates here. So that way we look at stronger ones uh, versus looking at everything. So what we'll do is we'll uh, change the filter here. Look at the rule of 40. We want nice sales growth and we also want lower RSI. So we want stocks to be oversold for us to jump in. So with that filter here, these are a little more stronger candidates. Still stocks have dropped a lot in the last five days. But here we are picking up some good names with the nice sales growth, nice gross margin, but still stocks have dropped a lot. So Rewans here are RVNC. As you can see, a stock is trying to make a move here. Nice 13% gain yesterday, but still down big in five day. So you could take advantage of that given RSI is still low. You could still pick up some RVNC here and go from there. And then we got CTT here, uh, catch mark, as you can see here, nice sales growth, nice gross margin. And as you scan through here, stock is down for one day, all the way to six months and up 10% for one year. You could also buy this one given it's a nice uh, growth stock here and RSI is low. As you scan through, we got a few more here with the Tiger, AMN and so on and so forth. And what we'll do now is we'll also look at uh, nice uh, uh, stocks with a good net margin. So that way you want to focus on stocks that uh, companies that make money, not the money losers. So with that, let's, let's say net margin greater than zero and we'll get a little more stronger candidates here and take it from there. As you scan through here, we got here stronger candidates. We made the net margin greater than zero here. Um, and these are, you are starting to get the big nice names here as you look through here we got uh, VSTI $8 stock here as you scan through here um, you know as nice sales growth nice gross margin nice net margin even debt to equity is a little bit lower you could focus on such candidates uh, like this one and go from there we got Tiger uh, Tiger and we got AMN here AMN as you can see here, it's a great healthcare type stock here and stock is done big time. You could scoop up some AMN here. Um, given there is a nice sales growth, nice gross margin. Also, company makes money. Uh, debt to equity is a little high, but I think we can make it work. As you scan through, we got some of my favorite names here. Even BRFS here, it's a Brazilian based play here. Uh, stock is done big. You can scoop it up and uh, uh, hold it for a while. And stocks like Thor, you know, these are a little more um, sensitive names here. A stock is big, uh, down big time, as you can see here. You could pick uh, some Thor up. I've seen Thor going down uh, very badly sometimes, but you could pick a little bit here, Thor, and take it from there. As you scan through, I also like Sage Therapeutics here. As you can look through here, nice uh, uptick in one day. Sage is trying to turn around us after a bad drop, as you can see here. It's a good one to buy. And then you got Ulta Beauty, which is a consumer of staples, as you all know. Nice uh, um, company, nice sales growth, nice gross margin company making money. As you see here, companies are dropping off late. You could uh, buy some Ulta Beauty into this weakness and go from there. And then we got here WD40. WD40 is a 